Uric acid is just a breakdown product of different DNA pieces, as well as fructose, so fruit sugar, breaks down into uric acid in the end. And both of those, if your levels are too high, form little crystals, and those crystals get in your joints. And if you look at those under the microscope, those crystals are pointy. And so if you think of that in your joint, it's like a little ninja star in there. And of course, it's going to be exquisitely painful. That same ninja star, what if it gets in your kidneys? Yeah, it's probably going to damage the kidneys. However, if you do have kidney disease in these cases, it may be beneficial to have that high protein diet because in kidney disease, you lose protein in the urine a lot. And so because of that, you're essentially got a hole in the bucket. They got to keep filling a little faster. So you need more protein to make up for that. Because what ultimately ends up being one of the big risk factors for bad outcomes with kidney failure and kidney disease are going to be the frailty and the bone density issues and those things that are going to go along with the fact that your kidneys don't work. If you can offset those other things, you'll have better quality of life and may eventually be able to stabilize that kidney disease or qualify for a transplant, something like that.